So the next phase in our uh, targeted threat framework is what's called the control phase. And essentially, in the control phase, what happens is the malware or payload has been successfully installed on a compromised system. And now the attacker is going to connect to it remotely and establish an, actually, an actual ongoing command and control. And typically what we see is that the attacker is looking for evidence that you as an organization uh, has identified them or detected them. Uh, we're also seeing that the, the initial malware that's been installed is generally pretty lightweight and modular. And so what we see in the control phase is additional uh, service modules may be uploaded to a compromised system to expand the capability set of the, the remote payload that the attacker is using. Um, and this is, is basically the last phase that an attacker is going to uh, uh, go through before they really start carrying out their objectives uh, on your systems and within your organization.